What's going on everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today and we're going to be doing another model review today. And this is a pretty cool tractor that I picked up at a toy show I was at. And so we're going to take a look at it today. It is the Alice Chalmers D21 tractor. So it is part of the 164th scale prestige collection. So that's pretty cool. You can find these about $15 to $25. I picked up the one that was $15 because I'm not going to spend more money than I have to, um, so yeah. But we got the tractor sitting here in front of us today. It's a nice big orange tractor. I like the way it looks. I saw a D21 and I was like, man, I need to have it. Now, it's literally just been sitting here for like two hours, but the uh, wheels are a little bit dusty because my shelf's a little bit dusty that I had it sitting on already. But here is the Alice Chalmers D21 tractor. Uh, made by Ertl. So it's a really good looking tractor. Um, starting off, we'll work our way from the front to the back. First off, you got some pretty nice sized tires here on the front. They are rubber with, I believe, plastic rims um, with kind of the cream colored rims. So everything's looking pretty cool there. Got big hood to house that big engine. It's got the D21 logo and Alice Chalmers on the stripe there as well as some other writing that i haven't been able to figure out what it says to be honest with you um maybe someone else knows though you got a little detail here on the top of the hood i'm guessing that's where you fill your fuel tank up um and then we also have the very tall chrome exhaust pipe on here as well on this really big hood now looking on the side of the hood you got lots of engine detail on there as well so everything's looking good through there at the front you got the Alice Chalmers logo up there. There is a tiny little paint chip right up there that it came with, so that's not too cool, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, but we got our silver grill on the front of the tractor here. The uh, front axle does go back and forth, so everything's looking pretty good. Moving over to the other side of the body here, I think it is a different. It is a different design in the engine from the other side, so everything's looking pretty cool there. It's a nice looking tractor big farm tractor big beefy farm tractor here now moving to the back half of the tractor you got really thick tires here and it's looking really nice rubber tires you got some wheel weights there in the center that are plastic and then you have the silver outer part of the rim as well now we do have um casted fenders here with the little sticker or not sticker lights but painted on lights on there too so most of the body of this tractor is all die cast metal so it makes it pretty heavy machine you got a little bit of step up there into the operator station which isn't too detailed but you do get the steering column and steering wheel on there as well as your seat so not too much detail through there but this, you got to keep in mind this is a pretty small tractor so not much they can do as far as detail on there now Coming into the back here, I assume that that's probably like a flasher or something. And then you got, um, I don't really know what's back here. Maybe a hydraulic tank or something. Not too sure, but there you can fill right there. Maybe this is the fuel tanks back here. That might be the where you fill the radiator probably. So that that's probably the radiator cap. And then this is probably where you store the fuel back here. That makes a little bit more sense now. But you do have lights on the back here that are painted on as well and the Alice Chalmers logo on the back there. Now looking at the back of this tractor, I am pretty happy with it. It's got a small drawbar, which looks pretty realistic there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we also have three point hitch arms here as well. So got lots of range on those things. They literally will go farther down and lift the wheels off the ground if you uh, want them to go that far down. And then you got your third link there as well. So very nice looking three point hitch system here on the Alice Chalmers D21. The most well moving three point hitch I'd have to say on any piece of Ertl equipment that I've got. This uh, this is a fairly new product. So I think that it is well put together. Ertl's getting the three point hitch stuff figured out. Like I said, the top link does move, so you got that in there as well. Looking at the bottom of the tractor, this one is made in China, but you got lots of nice detail for the bottom of this big, beefy tractor here. 
you can see the inside of the back rims are silver. Everything's looking pretty good throughout there. I like this tractor. It was a it was a good find at the toy show today. I kind of been wanting an Alice Chalmers for a while, but I do. It was I was get I was wanting like the seventy eighty or eighty seventy whichever one it was. Um, but the D21 caught my eye and I thought, man, I got to have one of these. So the box is pretty cool too, with the prestige collection logo. Um, original price has that on here, $5,700 wheelbase, 96 inches manufactured in West Alice, Wisconsin. It's got 103 PTO horsepower and it was produced from the years 1963 to 1969. I think it's got the same stuff over there, just in a different language. Um, and it's got some good old pictures on the back of the box there. So, pretty nice tractor. I'm glad I picked it up. If you are an Alice Chalmers fan or just love D21s in general and think they look pretty cool, you should go ahead and check this out. I don't... I, I feel like this was like a um, Ertl Collector Club only item, possibly. But I found it at a toy show today and a whole bunch of... Alice Chalmers stuff. There's getting to be a lot of it out there, so I'm liking it. Um, but if you want one of these, I picked this one up for $15. You can find them anywhere $15 to $25. Um, you pro can probably find them on all your thir third party sites online as well. Um, and I think I'm pretty sure that they are available on the Earl Collectors Club. So go check them out there if you want to, too. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the Alice Chalmers D21. I think it's a pretty sweet looking tractor, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and also consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a very great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.